Hello, my name is Wendy Proverbs. I'm Cascadena, and I'm the author of Aggie and Mudgie, The Journey of Two Cascadena Children. This is a story about two young Cascadena girls who were taken from their home in the late 1920s to attend residential school, far, far away from their family and homeland. The sisters were eight and six at the time. A fictional grandmother, Nan, tells this story to her granddaughter, Maddie. By way of telling this story to Maddie, we learn how Aggie and Mudgie traveled by riverboat, mail truck, paddle wheeler, steamboat, and train to the steps of the residential school. The seeds for this story came from my Auntie Agnes. She told her life story to a friend who transcribed it for her. I would now like to read a brief passage from the story. With the Beatles playing in the background, Yellow Submarine is one of Maddie's favorites. Maddie and Nan settle into the cushy love seat with a bowl of lightly salted popcorn. Despite her daughter's protests, Nan tends to indulge Maddie. It is a grandmother's right to spoil her grandchild and she sees no harm in it. In fact, she relishes in it. Okay, is everyone comfy now? What story would you like to hear this evening? Maddie puts her index finger to pursed lips and thinks for a minute. Nan, can you tell me the story about that old crinkled photograph with the two little girls? During the summer, Maddie discovered the photograph tucked away in Nan's desk. Maddie is curious about the image of two young girls standing close together. The taller girl has her dark hair tied back and is obviously older than the shorter girl with braided hair. They each have a blanket. The older girl carries hers on her arm and the younger one has hers wrapped around her shoulders. Their feet are covered in soft moccasins. Their cheeks are plump. Their eyes glance suspiciously at the camera. Maddie asked her mom about the photograph. Her mom said to ask her grandmother. When she asked her grandmother, Nan said she would tell her one day when she had more time. Maddie wonders if Nan has enough time now. Did you ever meet the girls in the wrinkly photograph, inquires Maddie. Nan musters a smile. No, my dear, I never met the girls in the photograph, but I do know some things about them. She squeezes Maddie's hand and closes her eyes briefly. It is important for her granddaughter to know this story, yet she feels uneasy sharing it. Nan takes a deep breath and begins. A long, long time ago, there were two little girls who were sisters. The eldest sister's name was McKinney, and the younger sister was Beep. They were very close, and Beep looked up to her big sister a lot. Their mother, Yanima, and their father, Long, named them. They lived far away in the north on the B.C. Yukon border. They were Cascadena people. The story carries on with Nan telling Maddie about Aggie and Mudgie. Sometimes the story is sad and Maddie learns about why sad things sometimes happen to us and to those we care about. But really, the story's about family and how important family is to all of us. I hope this story will open conversations that will lead to deeper understandings of the history of Indigenous people in Canada. I look forward to hearing any comments that you may want to share about Aggie and Mudgee. Happy reading and thank you.